Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be talking about getting more matches and dates on Bumble and Tinder. Now I see a lot of guys complaining online that they never get matches and then they never get dates out of those and just woe is me. But I see a lot of common mistakes that guys make and a lot of little things that can be fixed that they would have a lot more success if they just made some changes. So I wanted to go over some of those because they've helped me. I think they might help some of you too. So the first one I want to talk about was having a suit on. Some guys go with a more casual pick or a more quirky pick. And if you want to, if you want the quirky pick in there, that's fine. But that should be just not the main profile picture. I heard this saying one time that for a woman, seeing a man in a suit is like for a man seeing a woman in a bikini. I feel that's because as guys, we put a lot of stock into looks. But for women, obviously looks are a factor too. But also your, your drive, your success in life plays a big part of that. So that's what a suit is, gets to save for you without any words. It also shows you can one, afford a suit, and two, you have somewhere to wear it. Which brings me into my next point. Uh, take a picture with you, with some people around, some friends and family. This at least shows you have some social skills and are not some kind of hermit or, or shut in. Have that social group picture. If you have any friends that you are taller than, take some pictures with them. Just to, because height is a factor in, uh, in online dating. So if you can, take some pictures with some people who you're taller than. Or conversely, if it's a picture with people who are much taller than you and it just makes you look shorter, maybe not that picture. So ideally, with that group picture where it makes you look taller. The next point is to have at least a full body shot. Uh, and that's not the most critical one, but it's just nice so at least to go. She can kind of see what you look like. Also, going back to the group, the social aspect, just not all selfies. If there's one in there, that's fine. I have one too. But uh, if it was, but it shouldn't be all selfies because again, it shows at least you have someone, someone you know who is willing to take a picture of you. Then moving on to the messaging part because you need the match first before you can start messaging her. I see a lot of guys who will just kind of keep texting even though the girl seems interested. I'm not sure if they're trying to wait for the perfect line or I think it's they're scared to actually ask for the number and get rejected. I'm dating myself a little bit here. Uh, if I go out and you know meeting a girl at a club or something, that's a total shot in the dark. She might not be interested at, at she she might not be interested at all. But uh, at least with Bumble or Tinder, there's at least a small degree of mutual interest there. So you might as well just don't be scared. Shoot your shot. If she says no, no big deal. There's like more girls out there. Usually after a few messages is uh, is what I do. You don't want to just keep getting into this like this endless texting pen pal you have, that's not the point of the app. Eventually it is to, to meet this person. So in summary to that, get to the point and ask for the number. And then once you actually are texting, whether her number or some people just stick to social media, so they don't have to give out their number, whatever it is, I like to say to just the logistics and not get into a whole conversation. And also instead of saying something like, when are you free next week? Maybe throw out a date and say like, all right, how about Wednesday are you free? And then she might say yes or no, and let's say she says yes, then okay, eight o'clock sound good for you. So that shows a lot more confidence because when you say when are you free next week to the girl, then like she is calling the shot. She is dictating when the date will be versus you having a plan and saying like, all right, so how about Wednesday and Tuesday? If she says no, then let's say she, two of your suggestions, she uh, puts that down, she turns that down twice and doesn't have a con offer. Then I would say like, all right, well, you tell me when you, when you can make it. I see some guys say like, oh, it's always on like on the guy to do all this work. And yeah, that's true, but you got to deal with the reality of the situation. If you're going to expect a girl to like do all the legwork, some girls might do that, but then like she has to be the man in the relationship. So she's going to find you a little less sexually attractive for that reason, if she has to be the guy. So yeah, that's about all I had to say. So just in summary, suit picture, group picture, full body shot, and not too many selfies. Keep the texting to eventually shoot your shot. Don't just keep like texting on and on. And finally, keep the keep the messaging to just logistics. Don't get into a whole conversation and kind of make it more yes, no questions. Anyway, that's all I had. Hopefully this will help some of you out there. Uh, I'd love to hear back from you, so leave a comment. Or if you want to like the video and subscribe to my channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.